Revolutionary Greens. This is Harvey Quetty Shakur coming back at you once again at another historic site. I'm out here chilling in Alexandria, Virginia, in Northern Virginia. I'm at one of the most historic sites in America right now, as far as uh, pertaining to our ancestors' enslavement. I'm at the Franklin and Armfield Office Slave Trading Firm. This is what it was called back in the early 1820s. Between the periods of the 1820s to the 1830s, this was the uh, epicenter of, of, of the interstate commerce and the interstate down river slave trade, man. So this is like the most historic place of, of, of migration of our ancestors, a forceful migration of our ancestors from the upper south to the deeper south. Like this area, uh, I would compare to the historic Shaco Bottom of Richmond, Virginia. And um, in the back, it used to be where they used to have the most notorious slave pens in North America, where they brought the ancestors into Virginia and brought them to Alexandria, Virginia. They used to hold them in the notorious slave pens in the back. Those slave pens no longer exist, they tore them down. Um, also, this is the area of where the notorious um, forceful migration of our ancestors on feet. So just think about this for a second. Uh, they used to make our ancestors walk in chains barefoot from this area all the way to the deeper south, man, into um, Natchez, Mississippi, and New Orleans, Louisiana, the other notorious ports of the domestic slave trade. Um, this happened in like, I, I believe in the summer of the late 1820s and early 1830s. Uh, it took a, they was taking the groups of our ancestors from the month of May until October uh, from this spot, from this spot to the deeper south, man. So like 1,200, they say it's something like 1,000 to 1,200 uh, slaves uh, in that period of time of, you know, May to October, they used to trade our ancestors back and forth and make them walk. They didn't use the steamships, but they used the steamships also to trade our ancestors from this historic area, the sacred space to the deeper south. And um, the reason why I'm bringing this video to you because um, we must get back into the serious struggle of reparations, as you can see on my, on my hat. Make America pay reparations. See, a lot of these movements of today, they're not in tune with the struggle of reparations. Reparations is one of the most important aspects of the black liberation struggle and the new African struggle. Um, from our, we stand on great shoulders like Queen Mother Moore, Imari Obadeli, Elijah Muhammad, Malcolm X, Callie House, um, Henry M. Turner, James Foreman. These are the originators of, of, of the struggle of reparations. They are the reparations of founding fathers and founding mothers. So go Google and research those names, those, those uh, powerful new African um, um, activists, and um, great ancestors, man, who fought for reparations all the way up until the day they died. Um, also, before I shut this video down, just the main point that I wanted to make when I came out here to make this video is that the comparison of, of, of cultures as um, far as New Orleans and Richmond, a lot of people, when they uh, meet me or they meet my friends or they meet our people in the city of Richmond, they always state that we have the same similar accent of New Orleans people. The reason because we have that same similar accent is because we share the same ancestors. The majority of the ancestors and the descendants you see in New Orleans today, their ancestors came from this area. They were traded to that area in slavery and uh, vice versa because New Orleans is like, uh, I would say the top uh, slave trading port from the deeper south. So Richmond and Virginia period and New Orleans and Louisiana period were trading ancestors back and forth between uh, states. You know what I'm saying? So we are highly related. This is why we had the same similar type accent. Different in, this, in a certain way and the cultures are, uh, are kind of different but similar. We all Southern but uh, this is why New Orleans and Richmond, uh, some of the peoples we sound alike. This is why we got similar accents. And um, also, before I shut this video off, it's um, 400 years, man. We're coming up on 400 years. 
in um, um, 2019, 1619 is when our first African ancestors were brought to the state of Virginia and landed at Fort Monroe in Hampton, Virginia. So it'll be 400 years, man. This is why this struggle of obtaining reparation has to intensify. So, I, you know, my advice to all these movements, activists, um, man, start to push for reparations, man. We need to take this thing to the UN, man. This area is a part of our new African identity of the Republic of New Africa and all the other nations, man, because it's, it's many nations. It's not just one nation. It's a lot of nations that have been fighting for uh, independence, sovereignty, and identity on this land. But I'm gonna shut this video off now, man. Uh, Hockey Quitty Shakur, man, coming from the most uh, infamous slave trading area in the state of Virginia. And also, a lot of physicians, a lot of insurance companies, a lot of uh, rich businessmen, this is how they got paid. Like you see a lot of insurance companies on the news today, nine out of 10, those insurance companies were founded off of slave trading black bodies, new African bodies. And this office building right here is the infamous uh, uh, Franklin and Armfield um, slave trading firm business that uh, was the foundation of a lot of these wealthy Europeans you see today. So I'm gonna sign off right here, man. Hockey Quiddy Shakur, man, to see the Gabriel Prosser, free to land.